every year patients are harmed or die due to unsafe systems within healthcare. So patient safety is, is fundamental and essential part of healthcare provision. I guess historically we've sought to blame individuals uh, to find a reason why something's happened, but it's got to have been a person that's caused that rather than looking at the systems. But now more than ever, the importance of patient safety within healthcare is evolving and developing. Um, multiple reasons for that, uh, including, you know, disease progression, patient demographics, more complex diseases are being identified and managed. And healthcare provision has just generally become far more complex. The, the systems within which healthcare is provided have become more complex and they haven't really been designed um, with the complexity in mind to take into account everything that's going on for patients, their families and the staff that work within the system. Uh, it's not a nice, neat, linear process. It's full of multiple interactions, interdependencies, influences which increase the risk of harm and error. We as, as healthcare providers, we acknowledge that there are systems responses that, that need to be made to improve the safety of patients. And we need to work together to achieve that. It's recognised internationally, it's a focus for the World Health Organisation and particularly in the UK, it's a huge focus for the NHS to be able to improve patient safety and demonstrate that we're providing a system that is safe. Uh, the flexibility and adaptability which create the system and the resilience within it also have the potential to have a positive and negative impact on patient safety and health outcomes. And although we've made a significant number of advances, I think there's still a really long way to go. How and what that is at this point in time, nobody really knows. We need to all work together to determine it. I suppose the only clarity is that the changes need to be produced with the staff that work within the system, the patients and service users that use the system. Um, and that way we can ensure that we develop a safer healthcare system that will achieve the aim of zero patient harm. With respect to women globally, we're starting to make improvements around um, equity and inclusion in healthcare climates. That applies to the services we provide and those providing them. The majority of the healthcare workforce nationally and internationally is female. Nurses uh, have about a 90% female rate in the United Kingdom. So whether by race, ethnicity, socio-demographic status, language or gender, we need to make sure that we're including everybody in the way that the services are provided and who they're provided for. Um, within the NHS, there are a number of women that lead the way in patient safety, including our newly appointed National Patient Safety Commissioner, a lady by the name of Dr Henrietta Hughes, who is inspirational in the way she looks at patient safety and what she wants to do to improve the care that women receive in healthcare and also the services that are provided by the women working in healthcare. She's got a very specific remit looking at medicine safety, medical devices and promoting the voices of the patient and the public. Her remit came around through very specific instances that concerned women's health uh, around women who were taking sodium valparate during pregnancy and had adverse outcomes, women who were having oral hormone pregnancy tests during the 1970s and 1960s in the UK who had adverse outcomes, and women who'd had surgery require requiring the placement of vaginal mesh who had significant complications and their voices were marginalised. So having her in post promotes women's voices, empowers women to speak up and raise concerns. We need to be clear as women in healthcare that we're not only listening, but we're actually hearing the voice of the patient 
and the staff that work in the service and responding to their needs, but only by acknowledging those concerns and looking backwards at what's happened historically and listening can we start to address women's issues and stop harm in advance of it happening. Every individual will have a different perspective, a different need and a different requirement, but we should all be concerned with working towards zero harm for patients and staff. Safety in healthcare needs to absolutely be something we do, not something we have. Um, and I feel that if we implemented a women's health strategy, we would be able to include women's voice, raise diversity and increase awareness, visibility and empowerment of women throughout healthcare services.